Boys, everybody out, everybody out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No way, my God. Everybody out. Boys, boys. Uh, so I have to use the bathroom. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. All right, you guys are good. Uh, so what do we do now? I don't know. Flush the car. Does it even work? Nobody uses it. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Look at that. We hope everybody's ready to take the PSATs and everybody's seated by their proctors. We wish you good luck. Bahat slacha. And as Rabbi Har says, good skill. PSAT. I'm in charge of. You guys ever need anything? Stop by my office. Hope you guys out with some nips, maybe even a cola. Who knows what's gonna happen? And here we go. Test is about to start. You guys know love it. Just be yourselves. Anyway, here we are, guys. Brenner Town. Good luck. Thanks. That was weird. Yeah. Why is he introducing himself to us? Yeah, he's talking to us like we're freshmen. I don't know. Maybe it was some English lesson on the nuances of human communication. Maybe. Seems on character. All right, good morning, gentlemen. Take a seat. Make sure you're uh, at least one seat apart from each other. My name is Mr. Brenner. I'm going to be giving you the proctoring and giving you the PSAT today. Okay? If there are any questions, hold them till the end. Again, make sure you have your number two pencils sharpened. Thank you. And make sure you have the uh, proper calculator. Once you get your PSAT test, please break the seal and make sure your name is properly uh, indicated on the test. Why is he introducing himself to us? I don't know, we've known him for four years. Uh, Mr. Barron? Yes, question. Uh, there's a mistake. The a mistake? What kind of mistake? Uh, the date, it says 2015. What about it? It's not 2015. It's uh, not 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all laughing? It's 2022. Yes, if I know what a statistic is. I just drew a face with the whole dots. Are you involved in stat class? Yeah, so are you. Ow, Ow that hurt. Can we talk about how we're literally in 2015? No. Yeah, this is great. We can do whatever you want, flew around, and go back to where we went. Without any consequences. Right? Right? Well, how do we get back? I don't know. Well, if we got here by flushing the toilet, maybe we can get back by doing that too. Let's try it. Being a Rambam, man. Yo, yo, hello, hello. A Rambam, man, a Rambam, man. That's what you want. Do you also want a bagel for breakfast with your croissant? I leave the shopping wagon in the parking lot. Ooh. The one that never ever passes before the shop. Yeah. You don't care about the don't and do not cut the line. Oh. Not the first 10 in a minion. I ain't even coming on time. You want to start campaigning for the stuff you think is right? Nah, I'll just go complain to my parents every night. Ooh, nice rap trap. I Word like to your mother. It. Word to your mother. I like it. Yeah. We should include the part where you played basketball last night. And you didn't even clean up after yourself. But then you sat in front of a kid who had a broken foot. Or that you poured the milk this morning for yourself, but you didn't even offer it to anyone else. 
I got chips. Yeah, no. You can offer many chips. Buy us for chips. You give me some, right? I give you too. And after an assembly, you'd put the chairs away. After shopping, you'd put the shopping cart away, right? Of course. I don't know what's up with those kids. I think one of them even had a logo on the sweatpants. We need to go to Mr. Goldman about this. How else are we supposed to represent modern orthodoxy, Judaism, Zionism, and the land of Israel? That's consistent. Mr. Rabbi, yeah. Yeah, best bet. Come in. Rabbi, Rabbi, a guy had a logo on his sweatpants. Huh? A logo on his sweatpants. Yeah. Wait. A logo on his you sweatpants. Two. What, what, what happened to the Rambam man? A logo on his sweatpants. I want to give that kid a hug. What, what, what happened with the Rambam man? Well, it goes back to 2015. We don't like talking about it, but if you guys insist. Well, we had applied for the Blue Ribbon, and uh, things were going well. We got all the papers and all our scores, and then some clown thought it would be funny to put smiley faces on all our scantrons. So when they got that and they looked at it and tallied everything up, we missed it by a quarter of a point. We didn't win the Blue Ribbon, and it was like we entered an alternate universe. We don't have a Blue Ribbon, we decide, you know, a lot of what we stand for, who needs it? So we don't have the Rambam man anymore. anymore. We have the Rambam man-child. Hence, hence uh, the new look in the school. We go for the Rambam man-child. And uh, you guys are halfway there, not bad. But uh, hopefully, you know, with time, you'll learn how to really represent this properly. What about last year? Did we win Blue Ribbon last year? Nah, we did apply, and there's some other stuff that happened. But wait a second, something else strikes me. I was at the hockey game last night. Both of you weren't there. What's the deal with that? You realize now that if you don't go to a hockey game or any sporting event, you're going to not have to participate in Sports Prime. Sports Prime? You guys don't know about Sports Prime. It's in the handbook. Nobody but, reads the handbook. Uh, so I'll tell you about it. Well, Sports Prime is something, it's a really brilliant idea Steve came up with. Uh, when guys miss basketball games, hockey games, football games, next semester, soccer, baseball, etc., since it's so important to us that everybody goes to sports games, what happens is if you have enough of these demerits, during sheer time, you have to watch sports time, sports prime. Now, sports prime is we film all the uh, games, I'm sure you know that, and you have to watch it, and we have that unbelievable. You know, we have the uh, our own uh, sports sports casters at Rambam, so it's really not that boring. It's two hours of fun-packed banter and action on Sports Prime. So, uh, but listen, if I don't see you guys at the games, you're going to be watching Sports Prime. So, hopefully, next time I go to a game, I'm going to see you there. Sorry, Rabbi, didn't think we'd be forced to watch sports. Look at it as a it's a it's a really positive experience. I mean. I know you guys would rather be in sheer, and I understand it's painful, but we really think it's important that you guys, uh, you know, follow our teams. Well, listen, don't forget, uh, an assembly started about five minutes ago. I'll cover it for you now, but I don't want you to be too late. So, mosey on down. What's the assembly about? You know, it's, we're going to show you some stuff that's going on in the real world. You know, stuff that's depressing, sad, real. So you could sit home and mope about it and feel depressed. That's that's. Hopefully you'll get that. What, what do you mean mope? What about the rallies and all that stuff? Rallies? What are you talking about? What rallies? What are you talking about? Thank you. Thanks, Rabbi. Our fault that the PSAT grade got changed and we lost the blue ribbon. This is bad. How do we fix this? I guess we have to go back to 2015 and reset the PSAT grade. You sure that'll work? You don't have much of a choice. It's gonna work. Calm down. Try the piece of first time ever. Lexicon, pressing on, Pentagon, Red Chiffon, Genghis Khan, Mexicons. Mexicans? Apologies, I'm busy attempting to compose some bars for my epic rap battle of history with Mr. Bader. The 2017 firm video? Rap battle? Yeah, I'm surprised you don't know what year it is. Anyway, these rhymes are quite a tribulation. No, maybe we can help them out with that. Yeah, I did post that last semester.
Yeah. Put it up like that, right? And then, yeah, like that, right? Coliseum? Yeah. No way. If you switch no. it around like that. Ah, got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So let me that make that. Yeah. Let me fix that. What do you think about that? I think it looks good. If you change, yeah. If, all right, we'll make some minor changes right. and touches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Otherwise, looks right, good. Looks I think good. this will work. Thanks for the help, Mr. Hines. Peter Hines. Hines? That's the best you can come up with? Jeez. 2015. I can't get the first blue ribbon. We're doomed! Not yet, TV. Not yet. What do you mean? Well, Nobel has said that after the first blue was lost, Rama Man disappeared. So what if we go raise the grades, go raise morale, and maybe we can get us the next blue I mean, I guess that's the only job we have. And done. All grades get them. Plus 20. I just think that's a bit excessive. Anything for the blue ribbon. Big rap battles of history. <laughs> Mr. J. My name is Mr. J, and I'm here to say, I'm the smartest teacher here at 15 Cross Lane. My lexicon is bigger than the whole Milky Way, so there are a few things I would have to say. But gentlemen, take a seat, don't be late, and I'll show you a video on how she's not so great. I like video games, so I'm quick on my feet. My rap game's hot, so I can't be beat. You're probably sick with the flu. You know, it's time somebody said it. I'm rapping better than you. Look at the size of my shoes. Your bars are stinky like poop. Nothing you can do. Hey, I get it. You teach two APs. Does anyone ever surpass the three? As you see, I'm a beta boy. My raps are sublime. We do better at the regions than all your classes combined. This isn't over yet. Biden, did it work? It could be. Last time it didn't. We were to find out. Excuse me, did you two gentlemen just come out of that bathroom? Yeah. Why? First of all, yeah, it's not a proper word. You have to say the word yes. Second of all, in 2017, our Lord and Supreme Leader, Mr. J, closed that bathroom and graced us with a with majestic rule. What are you talking about? Did you just correct his grammar? Try it yourself. He's locked. What do we do? Who dares to yell at the rules of this school? Jane Architects, a lack of consideration. Come with me, you three are going to the abode of the detainees. Oh no, Emperor J, I'm sorry. I will write an apology to the whole school for my disturbance, and I will contact the Holy Tom Rich and how I can improve myself. Escort these miscreants immediately. Comadre. Um, it means friendship. Mutual friendship. Yeah. Grab a notebook, sit down, and begin writing your apology letter. I have an IEP. Fine. It's not lunch. Why are there kids here for detention? You're joking, right? This is a classroom, isn't it? No, it's the abode of detainees for all school hours for the past couple of years. I think we really messed up. How long do we have to be here anyway? Hey, it's not allowed in school. How'd you bring that past the metal detector? Oh, right, sorry. What? I didn't know this punishment is here for you, uh, you annoying kids. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? It's not safe, all the J dogs are lurking. You guys new here or something? like that. Can you explain what's going on? Why is everything Mr. J? And where are the other administrators? Well, a few years ago, the entire administration were uh, caught cheating and messing with the grades. Uh, 
which point they were all uh, forced to resign. Mr. J was left as the uh, only administrator, and uh, he tried to start everything with a nice big epic rap battle. Unfortunately for him, and later on, fortunately for us, the students overwhelmingly voted against his rap. Mr. J was vengeful and decided to use an iron fist to mold the school to his view. Really screwed up this time. Let's get out of here. Uh, hold on. You're not done yet. Mr. T, stay with me. Welcome to the Resistance. Why is there no line to college guidance? All kids go to Oxford, no questions asked, so I'm out of a job. I knew you guys were the travelers. Just the moment I first saw you, it was just obvious to me. What? Here he goes again with his wild theories. Okay, hear me out. So, in 2015, Rambam was doing great. The grades were up, morale was high, and it seemed that Rambam was on their way to a blue ribbon. But then, the PSAT grades came back in, and they were a fraction of a point too low, and it was devastating. Everyone was gutted, but we continued on. In 2017, the administration was caught fudging the numbers. And they all resigned and leaving Mr. J as the only administrator leaving us in our current predicament. <laughs> no, these aren't mere coincidences. These were done by sloppy high school time travelers who came back to 2015 first, and then later came back to 2017, probably trying to fix what they did in 2015. But I still don't understand why they couldn't go back to 2015 in the first place. I, I wouldn't say we're sloppy, we just, we just can't control it. Well, that was one of the possibilities. You guys are actually the travelers? You guys are idiots. Do you realize what torture you've subjected us to? We're sorry. Sorry? I have dictionary for three periods. Three! We're trying to fix it. We need to get back to the shady bathroom, but it's locked. The shady bathroom? Superior Almighty J locked up that a long time ago, saying that it lowered productivity by 6.7%. I needed to know that for J-Bowl. Come with us. Help us fix this mess. As much as I would love to go with you and help you, but I have my place here and I have to help with the resistance. But I can help you get into the shaky bathroom. Thank you, Sternberg. <clears throat> we've, we've, we've collected a number of keys over the years. We have the keys. Let's go. Are you ready? 
you guys are looking sus, chilling in front of the uh, forbidden bathroom. Did you really think you could escape the abode of the detainees? This is an injustice against President Jay. You will not get away with this. Quickly, I'll hold them off. What is this? Arbitrary and capricious. Huh? We won't forget you, Stenberg. I know. We will defenestrate you. She's all yours, Rabbi Freeman. Just sign here and write the date, March 1990. What are you going to do with this space? I'm making an all-boys yeshiva high school in this building here. You mean this half of the building? Yeah, just this half. And you think you can run a school in just half a building? Yep, and a great one too. How do you expect to make a great school in this small of a, in this small of a plot? You got about a dozen classrooms and no gym. You think you can win a blue ribbon here? Oh, blue ribbon? Yeah, one, maybe even two. Two blue ribbons in this place? I think we'll win two here and then two more when we make a new building in 32 years. I think that's crazy. Do you expect some act of God to come and suddenly get you two blue ribbons and then a third? Well, God works in mysterious ways. You're the I know. We probably got to have to worry about that. Better be the right timeline. Yeah, what's up with that? I wonder if anybody can explain all this. Zachar! Zachar! Zachar's in here. Go away. Do, do you know where you'd find him? No, Ario. Have you seen him? No, I'm too busy writing this code right now. Okay, back to you when I'm done with this, my writer's will story. Oh, and my calculus physics homework. Guys, guess what? My MIT exams just came in. Maybe we'll be in the same classes. Maybe. But I'm planning on staying in two, three years at Gush. Uh, congrats, Sammy and Daron. Uh, Sammy, do you know where we find Zarika? Yeah, it's out in the hall. Hey, hey, Zarika! Hey, 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 there's, there's this time machine in the bathroom. What are you talking about? about? Get back in there. Come down. There, there's actually a Nah, you bugging, bro. There's, there's, no, you go back in the calm down. This isn't just some conspiracy Yo. theory. Did you say theory? Are you familiar with Karl Marx and Das Kapital? That'll never work in the real world, bro. How do you know? It's never been tried. Venezuela, Soviet Union, 100 million dead, Karl Marx, no iPhone in Venezuela. What are you talking about, man? Soviet Union, 100 million dead, man. Karl Marx, Marx, the greatest person when ever. When Marx took over? Good reason. Good. Ready for the hockey game tonight? We're gonna murder Yo, MVP, baby! Let's go! Mr. Gadelis, my classes are easily superior to any of yours. I mean, the Pythagorean theorem is just beautiful and so useful. Has anyone ever come back to you and said, Oh, Mr. Canales, thou hast changed my life with thy Shakespearean language? No, but every single day I get students who come back to me and say that my calculus, my iffy calculus, has changed their life with their min-max problems. No one's ever come back to you and said, Yes, it is the greatest subject ever, but math reigns supreme. What you don't appreciate is the absolute beauty of the English language and the literature that has been written over the years. You don't appreciate the genius of these, some of these authors. Did you know that the sci-fi author Jules Verne wrote about helicopters decades before they were invented? You know what else has never been tried? Asking Zach to run to help solve a problem. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Messed up so bad, Daron. I don't want to go back to a timeline where everything's messed up and I have to live with the guilt that uh, everyone's lives was changed because of me. We messed up, Daron. We're, we're really not from here. What do you mean? It all started with this toilet, okay? This is a toilet and we tried to get away from Aaron, but we accidentally flushed it and we ended up in 2015 and there was this PSAT, yeah, and Mr. Goldman didn't know our name, and then uh, we went back, and everything was messed up, and then... Sternberg... Sternberg became a revolutionist against communists, not communists, but, you know... Revolutionist Mr. J, and the supreme leader Mr. J, and rat battle, and we made them bad, and everything got screwed up, and now Mr. J is the principal, and everything is... Friday, and Rafi was a... Conservative and, and Ezra Bader was a communist, and oh my god, it was so scary. And 
Then I appeared and bought the building and we knocked over a broom. You guys dropped a broom? Yeah. That must be why your original reality is so different. How could a broom falling over cause such a big issue? Have you never seen a time travel movie? Or do those not exist in your reality? We may have. You ever seen Avengers Endgame? There are Avengers in this timeline? Yeah, there are Avengers in every timeline. You know, with the Tungsten Gentleman, Mr. Weird, Lieutenant Germany, the supervisors of the solar system, you know? You did not just. Well, your predicament likely works the following way. Chances are everything you have done caused the butterfly effect. Most things you try would just mess up everything more than it is now. Literally anything can change. Whether for the better or for the worse, you need to be very careful when undoing everything you did. We'll be careful. Will you help us get back to the right time though? Yeah, you're the only one who can help us. Okay. It'll take a lot of time, but if we just throw FTC and push off mock trial and debate, hmm, I think I can make it work. That's great. There are a few things we have to address. You must go back to every instance where your original selves went back and changed the original timeline. You have to go unnoticed by everyone and not change anything other than the things that your original selves changed originally in the time when yourselves changed the things originally. You following? Okay, I have to work. Two seconds later. I'm programming this device to take you right back after your original selves, subsequently to each time jump you did. Meaning you might even run into your past future selves, but whatever you do, don't interact with them. The implications can be devastating. You won't be able to see if your fixes work until the end of each time. You flush the toilet, it will only take you to the next year you guys were in. You only have one shot at this. Don't mess this up. Again, do only what you need to do to reverse the damage you did in 1990, 2017, and 2015 in that order. Once you finish with the PSATs and go back into the stall, if everything works and is back into its original state, you should come back to your original reality. So we only have one shot at this. Make it work. Duran? Yeah? I feel like like you've helped us a lot, but so I think we owe it to you to let you know that in our reality, you're a little different. What do you mean? Well... You know what? Don't tell me. After all, why should I learn who I am when who I may be in your world is not who I see myself as being? Why should I let some alternate version of me define who I see myself in the grand scheme of things? To quote the wise Italo Calvino, the galaxy ran through space and left behind those signs old and new and I still hadn't found mine. This alternate version of myself might be Daron, but is this Daron truly me? After all, who am I? If not what I define myself to be, for I will choose my own fate, I will forge my own destiny, independent of whatever life I may be living in the reality you hail from. So farewell my friends, I hope you succeed in your mission. And remember, y'all already know I go to Rambam, Rambam. Always rallying gets terrorists with bombs, with bombs. With shame is Christo trying to get a new box, new box. With paper towels, it's probably just best if you leave. Here, I sent the machine to take you back to each time drum starting in 1990. Good luck. Thanks for that, but really, you should know. In our timeline, well, think of Zarker and you'll get the right idea. Wait. What do you mean? What? It hasn't changed in 30 years. Stop joking. We need to focus. Okay, let's just do it. How is this broom set? Dude, it's, it's just the broom. Just the broom? Uh, we just experienced the most gargantuan effect of the butterfly effect that, like, you could possibly imagine, right? We've seen how it can how the smallest, how changing the smallest detail, like knocking over a broom, can lead to God knows what, okay? So, it's not just a broom. And the fact that you're not just laughing about it and making a joke, it's some pretty bad character development. And honestly, it's some pretty bad writing on the writer's part. So, it's not just a broom. Got it? Maybe with a little more. I, I'm catching a W. 
Do you remember what the original uh, lyrics were? How, how would I remember what the original lyrics were? Like, I don't memorize poems to build dialogue. But, we don't have to. This. That's the entire 2017 part of my year. Yes, it is! How convenient. Salutations, gentlemen. I have the utmost appreciation for your assistance in my rap battle with Mr. Bader. I anticipate that the spectators will savor the lyrics. Also, what's with your wardrobe change? Uh, no worries, I just take this. It's much better. Yeah. First things first, you're asinine and capricious, man. Do you speculate that the patrons will revel in terms of such as capricious? I, I think you win this way. Yeah. All right, if you trust that these are superior, then I will follow through with this. Thank you, Mr. Good. My pleasure. Furthermore, I'd like to inquire about this stage set composing of Mr. Ganellis, Mr. Goldman costume as thugs. Don't worry about it. Just follow, just follow. It's good. Okay. Stick with it. Aren't our past future selves in Mr. Goldman's office right now? Oh, yeah. Let's go with the Gina Corporation. Won't that have consequences? Now nah, it's pain in the future. Hershey can get. Hershey, of course. Impressive. Wait, what if he's in there? What if Mr. Goldman ever in his office? Fair enough. Okay, I'll watch. Okay. How much did we raise each grade by? I think we added 20 points to each kid. 20 points? Looking back, that's like comically stupid. How do we have ever thought that would solve a problem? I don't know. Maybe the writers didn't think it all the way through? Yeah, like, these writers really do stink. Throughout this entire thing, uh, we've been unrealistically and compulsively dumb and stupid. Like, throughout, throughout the thing, like, your sweatshirt's changed. My shoes have changed. These writers really need to do their job better. Yeah, when we get back, I'll have to have a word with them. Yeah, for now we have a job to do. This Perm video was made possible by Squarespace. Squarespace is the absolute easiest way to make your website. I've used them for a few different websites. For example, just join IDF.com. And please go to IsraelAfterHighSchool.gov. Amazon.com slash Judaism, Zionism, and the Land of Israel. And how to copy Flatbush, EDU, and my personal favorite, Ravens.live slash Carmen. I don't have the time or the need to create a fancy website. I was too busy not teaching Zionism. I just spent about 15 minutes throwing together a simple landing page. It was incredibly easy with Squarespace. And in my opinion, and at least now the way I look at it, it looks great. Now I can give people one link that takes them to a page with the link to all of our propaganda. I mean, essential educational materials. You can easily create a landing page like this for anything, a blog, a store, an IDF recruitment site for five towns kids with shopping addictions, really anything with Squarespace. What's best is that you can get 10% off if you first order by using the code IDF48 overall. Over at squarespace.com slash rombomb, livedeals.com, I-L dot E-D-U. For every website you buy, we will get a cut at no additional cost to you. That will go to fund the majority of our new building, which is somehow still underfunded. So please, please, do go check out Squarespace, squarespace.com slash Edwin Black forever, and don't forget to use the code IDF. 48 at checkout. Back in 2015. Yeah. Well, where it all began. You need to get to the uh, office. <coughs> it's always locked. Well, hmm. I have an idea. Good work. Let's try. Yeah, he's in there right now. Rabbi Elia, there are Persians in two and I with no teacher! Use the Persians? The Persians! The army, the Mashad, they will all have to be dealt with.
Joker idea 48? Nice, first try. Okay. Uh, uh, here, here. Uh, uh, 2015, here. Don't mind if I do. So that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh. Uh, I missed a moment. I didn't see nothing. Drip. Thought you were a daughter. Yeah, same. Roman just wanted to compliment me on my Rambam stories. Why don't you warn me there's a teacher coming? I did. You didn't hear my eagle noise? That was your eagle noise? Cause I'm like a dying donkey. Rude. Whatever, let's go. So that worked. Did you guys do your calc homework? Um, ah! The look on your faces. So it did work. Uh, we have two blue ribbons in everything, right? Two or three, I think. Why do you ask? No reason. So we're done. Yeah, hope we're done with that. Kiki Sammy was bizarre. New page, Amy Moskowitz and Jake Frank of my office right away. Thank you. Bye. Excited, but you know, it's not gonna help you. Follow me. Gentlemen, this is where we're gonna get the third blue ribbon, but we have to wait five years 2026. Y'all already know I go to Rambam, Rambam Always rallying gets terrorists with bombs, with bombs For shame is Risto trying to get a new box, new box So smith paper towels, that's the things that we want Don't forget about the bus or a of Brooklyn or Queens Get a new keycard if you lost so you're skipping a chick cause you're exhausted Soon you cast a cell to make profit Bar until the problem you brought is Everybody's getting caught to the office And Mr. Ugly me giving us a reward A plaque for the winners of the contest The suit is getting freaked out by the bells And it's so diabolic The sack of the gap, they have the laptop you don't really run a us from the pen and pad like a brag of the chat pack and a mac in the back of your black backpack knapsack yep yep long with a snack and we a nap full time though real meetings of wrong man and so I'm panicking that we're on able get a smoke with our table panic attacks with a half and a candle at the back it can really get some chaotic as a matter of fact we know
Whenever you guys are ready, walk in. Yo! Nope. <laughs> Five seconds and he forgot his line already. Oh my AB! Yo, one, camera rolling, it's really shaking. So what, what do we do? What do you have the flash or? Why don't you let me do? A no, AB shut up! Line. You don't line. have one! Oh, I don't know. Ah! <laughs> I don't put the line in. I didn't say nothing. Drip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, because no, we need that one. 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 What do you need for the video? We need that one. We need that one. Guys, get ready for some Sternberg yelling. <laughs> Am I yelling? I don't know. I don't no, know. I think it's a more like a whisper. You know your lines. You do it. You're gonna do. Okay. Uh, so what do we do now? I don't know. Flush the toilet. Does it even work? Nobody uses it. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Bro. You look at that. Flush. It didn't flush. Camera <laughs> 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 between the fraps and the milk. Your security duty. Your job is to make sure nobody enters the bathroom. Testing, testing, one, two, three.